show me everything. Peace Deep Minds 255 here. What up? What up? Looking at this Berserker trailer. I'm gonna let it play out. Then we're gonna do a move breakdown list. But before we do that, we'll look at a little bit of the potential that this game has to offer us. I think that's important. DNF Duel really has the ability to get a lot of players in just by virtue of the different characters that they have. I was trying to get some backstory information. And I ran across this page that showed me that character. And I said to myself, wow, you know? And then you look at the, these are called the Neo versions. Of course, that's Berserker. But these are the Neo versions of these characters. You remember when I said in the other video they have like 60 classes each? That certainly looks like it's the case. Advancement classes anyway. So this game's gonna be able to pull a lot of people because it has a lot of different fighting game characters or MMORPG characters. Maybe, maybe the longer you've been playing with those MMORPG characters, the more you're gonna wait to play this game. And let me say this, I am also downloading DNF uh, Dungeon Fighter Online because the fighting game's gotten that hype. And then there's another MMORPG that's supposed to be a continuation to Dungeon Fighters Online. So right now, this game might blow up even more because it's supposed to make a part two to this. It's currently in the works, so I'm looking forward to that as well. Anyway, with that being said, let's get into this trailer and break down these moves. This character looks like he has good range on his normals. Just look at the size of his sword. And um, those usually make for high level characters or high tire characters. This combo here though, it looks like he does three hits, does a special, and then he goes into another special. That's what that looks like to me. That's about a six or seven hit combo. And depending on the recovery, definitely would make for a top tier character. So that's what, I, that's what I'm seeing with this one right here. Now, this next move is pretty deceptive because when you watch the video and don't slow it down, you don't see that he actually punches the character first, which tells me one or two things that this move is either, oh, maybe it's a command grab. That's probably what it is. It looks like a, a command grab. But it looks like he does something with his arm. Or he hits him, but it looks like a punch. Yeah, it's a punch. And then he stabs him out with the sword. So that means either he ticked throw him, which is a normal attack followed by a command grab, or he has a command grab that he can combo into that leads to a knockdown. Either way, it works and we'll take it. That's an overhead. And look at the distance. It covers almost almost half the screen and you're, and you're completely safe. Even if you block it, I mean, unless the recovery is terrible, you're still safe with a move like that. This next move is interesting because they have a run up at first. And that's kind of scary too for a character. I, I mean, if his normals have fast startup and they have good range, and I have to keep in mind that other characters have weapons and they'll probably have good range too, so that would even it out. But fast normals with long reaching weapons and a character being able to run and most games would be OP because traditionally characters with weapons that hit, that are long range weapons, they're traditionally slow and you can kind of use your range to beat a character who's faster than you. Thinking of Soul Calibur, for example. But um, in this game, they don't seem to be putting those limiters on. This is Deep Mod 255. 